Hey DC Collectors, welcome to a brand new episode of the show. Today we're taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Last Night on Earth Wonder Woman action figure. But before we get into this review, if you will, hit that subscribe button and that like button. I sure would appreciate it and remember to share the content with all of your friends. Now let's get on with the review. So this is the Batman The Last Night on Earth Wonder Woman action figure. This one also comes with the collect build Bane figure parts. It looks like this one comes with the arms and we'll talk about the Bane Build-A-Figure at a later date because I'm not too happy with the paint scheme on this one, but that's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about this Wonder Woman action figure. So let's take a look at the packaging. Here she is with her cool mohawk side of the package. Just features that cool Wonder Woman title. Back of the box features some fantastic artwork from Greg Capullo from Batman Last Night on Earth. Also, you'll see three other figures that you will get in this wave, which include Omega, Batman and Scarecrow. This side of the box, just a window into the packaging. Top of the box, window into the packaging with the Batman Last Night on Earth logo. Bottom of the box, here you go for the UPC in case you're looking for it. Alrighty, so with that out of the way, let's open this one up and play. Here is Wonder Woman out of the package. And you might be asking yourself, what is going on with Wonder Woman's hair? Well, this is what it looked like in Batman The Last Night on Earth, and they didn't really address it, or either I missed it if they did, why her hair was cut this way, but it is. This is sort of a futuristic story set beyond the death metal timeline from Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo, where bad stuff has gone down. And of course, Wonder Woman is one of the last superheroes on Earth to get us out of this mess that we're in. And of course, Batman plays a part, a big part in it. He's best with the story mainly about but I'm not gonna spoil that for you I'll let you read that and find out the ending on your own first let's look at the accessories of course comes with the disc black disc display base that they all come with comes with this cool Greg Capullo artwork card here love that card that is just some fantastic artwork in this package back of the card you can read the bio it gives you a good little idea of what's going on in the comic awesome sword look at that Let's see if i can get a yeah there you go look at that nice handle cool stuff going on pretty wow what in the heck this is not even this is like this is like melted butter this is not very good at all this is this is pretty horrible i mean this is not a very good this is not a very good sword at all. Comes with these two Bane arms here. These are ginormous arms. You know, I was doing the, a review for the Martian Manhunter from the uh, DC Multiverse from Mattel the other day, and it came with a Clayface arm, and it was huge, but man, these are beefy too. I mean, these are really beefy. Of course, there's no hand there. Ugh, make two arms out of it. So we're gonna build this one at a later date. So now let's look at Wonder Woman. Let's look first at the paint job. Look at that, just a very nice paint job. The eyes are for the most part pretty good. They're off just a hair, enough to that if I'm looking really hard, it makes me kind of ill. But if you're looking kind of far off, yeah, they're pretty good. I don't like the the paint job for the skint part of her hair. It, it just doesn't look good. It looks like they I, I don't know. It's, it's supposed to be like stippling, but I don't think they did a very good job of it. And this is on par for what McFarlane has done. I mean, if you look at the Flashpoint Batman, his beard stubble looked pathetic as well. But I'm not going to criticize too much. Tiara, Tiara looks good. I mean, the actual cape, look at that. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the textures on this cape are just ridiculous. I mean, they're nice really nice you have that tattered look to them too underneath it's the same thing There's, i mean it's got a really cool texture to it and I, that i can't really describe and you have to actually feel that for yourself uh gauntlets look good looking for any kind of paint mistakes the star on the side looks great all in all just looks pretty good i don't see any glaring paint there's a little bleed over right there on the red to the skin tone uh, that's acceptable to me. Uh, chest looks good as far as paint goes. Everything looks everything looks spot on. Just a really nice, nice looking action figure. Now I will say this one does suffer from being in the package, and her legs are all screwed up and bow legged. 
from coming out. I had to really work with this one just to get her to stand earlier because uh, the legs were just in a horrible, horrible shape. So uh, we're, we'll have to deal with that at a later, a later date. So let's take a look at the articulation on this figure. Her head is on the ball joint, so it can turn, well, all the way around. She's got this little piece right here, so let's kind of watch out for that. Look up, down real good to the side. Eh, look at that. She kind of looks like a dog. You know, you know how your dogs will look at you every now and then like, really, really nice articulation there. She does have butterfly shoulders that can go back and forth. Now the cape prevents her from, from doing too much. I think this is glued down, so you're not gonna get that off. Uh, does she have bicep swivel? She does have bicep swivel. She double jointed? Yes, she is double jointed. The other joint is hidden by the gauntlet. You can see that she's double jointed. She, the, uh, I love this piece though, because look at that. This covers up the nasty, ugly ball joint at the wrist. Just, I love that. The wrist, I mean, they have great articulation because of that ball joint, but they look so ugly, so ugly. I can't stand them. So she has some great movement here at the waist. I don't know if, if she turns at the stomach. It looks like she might, but I just, I can't get a good enough grip to try to make her turn really, that, which is eh, saying something. There you go. That's about as far as she's going to do a split. Oh, great. That sucked. Hope that didn't break. And look at that. That looks like it's getting close to breaking. I can't, if you can tell, you can't really tell in the camera, but when, with the lights on it, it's very, very weak, very weak, which is kind of crazy. Now I got to worry about getting this thing back on. So we're gonna be extra careful with that. She does have double jointed knees there. Our ankles have that, that great articulation from McFarland. She does have toe bends there. So the uh, sword sheath can move back and forth like so. All in all, pretty decent figure other than the leg just broke off on me. That's the first one I've had that the leg has just done that. I think it's just prior just me pulling her out of the package and she's stuck in a wonky pose with her legs probably me working it just made it loose i i don't know let's try to put this this is useless to me i mean this is this is pathetic look at that just just look at that that this is that is a sorry excuse for a, a sword i mean that 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 is absolutely pathetic that is pathetic but we're gonna stick it in here. At least we got a whole sword sheath this time. You know, before, like with Deathstroke, we didn't even get one. I guess the reason it's so flimsy is because you can't really get it in there because of the way this thing is designed. So you have to kind of just force it. I guess I could have pulled it to the back like that. But man, if it goes up under her arm like that, holy cow. Let's see how tall she is. Break out the measuring stick and she's about seven and a half inches tall. About seven and a half inches tall. Let's put her up next to another Wonder Woman. This is the McFarlane 1984 Wonder Woman action figure here. And we're gonna put the DC Multiverse Wonder Woman from the original movie up to the side, just so you can get kind of a scale idea of how these figures look up close. All right, so that's it. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button and that like button. I sure would appreciate it. And uh, follow me on dccollectors.com each and every day and on social media at DC Collectors. I'm always around on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at that handle. Just ask me any question. I'm there to answer it as best I can. Until next time.